Hello, YouTube! Welcome back! It is I, Mr. Miles, and this is now episode 2 of our Final Fantasy VII Remake blind playthrough. In Chapter 1, it was the, what, the destruction of the Mako Reactor 1? Uh, we got uh, kind of a, our first glimpse, or not really a first glimpse, but we got to know some of the characters a little bit. Uh, we played as Cloud for pretty much all of it. Cloud Strife, who is an ex-military person, uh, who Barrett, who's a really cool badass dude, uh, with a minigun for an arm, uh, <laughs> doesn't trust him. Uh, we also met Jesse and Biggs and Wedge, uh, which is really neat. I like that Star Wars reference there. And we destroyed the Mako uh, Reactor 1, and uh, like Mako is kind of like what the lifeblood of the planet kind of like manifests into some like goo like liquidy stuff which is neat i don't really know what it does um outside of that but uh we fought a scorpion boss which was a lot of fun and we got like our first glimpse kind of like into cloud's backstory a little bit with some like i guess it's like headaches and has like flashbacks i guess so that was interesting. Um, what else? What else? What else? We saw uh, a feather, which kind of like hinted at Sephiroth, which I know from Kingdom Hearts. So, yeah, I think we're gonna jump in the, to episode two now. Let's uh, let's let's do it. Let us do it. We got that beautiful, that beautiful. All right. So chapter two, fateful encounters. So let's do this. Sector 8. Connecting passageway. Thank you guys uh, for coming out during the premiere of episode 1. Uh, and all the people who watched and commented and liked the, the video. It definitely helps out. Um, if uh, if you're new to the channel, um, welcome aboard. Playing Final Fantasy 7 for the first time. And uh, if you happen to like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Can't wait to get out in the open. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Got to do something about that, and soon. Whoa. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. Pent, uh, not Pence. Actually, I was gonna say, uh, not Biggs, but Wedge actually reminds me of, of, uh, of a How grown, grown up Pence. Not far. You obtain two potions. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? That's about as good a place as any. Stand back, then. I'll set the bomb. No, no, don't set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't Hold wait on. to take a hot shower. I want to see. I want to see if I missed anything back here. Can I run faster or what? You know, sometimes video games like to put uh, chests and stuff behind where you start off. So, no, it looks like we can't pass through here. I guess missed opportunity if it, if, if there was something there. Missed opportunity. I'll go that way. Yep. So I'm not sure what's been causing uh little freezes or lags in my video lately it's not happening during my streams it's only happening during the recordings so i unchecked the box that somebody has suggested in my capture software and uh, i updated like my processor and all that stuff so hopefully we don't have any more issues oh dude biggs's shoes are sick 
She's good to go. Fire in the hole. Whoa. You sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson for anything here. that gets in my way. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of Sector 8. No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor. And the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah. We always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears. Your worries, your concerns, and yes, your feelings. <laughs> Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. Barrett's badass. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. All right, do we ever pick up like anything cool in these things or is it always just potions and ethers? We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it. Later then. Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. That seems fair. <laughs> I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Yeah, you do. Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, so material and equipment unlocked. Uh, you can now set materia uh, to your weapons and armor. Try setting the healing materia to your buster sword. All right, let's begin tutorial, because I'm not going to know. Uh, you can set material weapons and armor through the material equipment. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's do that. Oh, hey. All right. That's... Hey. <laughs> I asked that question. I was like, why are we missing... We're missing a slot. So we had... Oh, so we had fire material. So, Okay. So now this will give us the ability to heal. Cool. So to your equipment uh, allows you to use new spells, abilities, and also boost your stats. Find a combination that works best for your battle strategy. This ends the tutorial. Awesome. Cool. Bronze bang on. Alright. Uh, 
spells. So we have cure. Now. Perfect. Um, is there... We probably haven't unlocked it yet. Are there like... A Moogle medal. That's right, we picked that up. Um, nobody's in our party yet. Battle settings. Oh, you can change that stuff out? That's cool. Huh? Now both are filled. That's sick. That is sick. This is crazy looking. Is this like pretty linear? Like can I wander around a little bit? Get up there, or up there. Cloud doesn't like to jump. There's a chest. Fifty gil. Cloud, up here! Look up! I said, look up! Oh, oh there you are. <laughs> Jesse's just like jumping up and down. Up here! Be careful when you get up here, it's gonna collapse. Three grenades? They've got grenades? Oh wow. This place just looks nuts. So, the bad guys, I forget what their names are. They probably, they like, we didn't just blow up the reactor, they did like the, the rest of this. <laughs> they did the rest of this, that's why it looks like this. Can we get past them? No one's like so gonna question me. Die. Oh no! What the? He looks so cool. Dude, he's huge. Are we transitioning to like yeah. 
I can't wait to find out like the backstory on these two. which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. The hell? I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Yes, that's the way we came. I love the old style of cars. It's no use. Why would someone do this? You are advised to vacate the area immediately. The explosives at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residences at once. I repeat. This is an alert from the Sinra Emergency Operations Center. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of buildings in the vicinity of the Sector 8 Expressway. You are advised to vacate Man, the area in what a mess. The explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. Do what you want. Not safe I'm to taking the kids indoors. to safety. Please leave your no, residence we stay together. Yeah, together. Yeah, together. <laughs> Like the lighting and everything just looks so good. Don't let the intruder escape. Security's everywhere. There's a thing there I need to get. I don't need that car. How do I get to that? Good. Military's here. Must be close. No need to make it harder for yourself. This is an alert from the Emergency Operations 
Well, I want to go get it, though. The intruder escape. Security's everywhere. All right, all right, all right. The fire won't spread this far, will it? Oh, it's Aerith. What's around her? What was that? You are too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? Oh, she's so she's so pretty. I'm fine. For you. Her? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Things Heartless. <laughs> Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait. You think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <gasps> what? What's happening now? Help me! What in the friggin- The Mentors? I have a feeling we're not going to put our sword down. and abilities. Now we can get this item, right? Deadly dodge. Nice. 
Nice. Wasn't there another one over here? All clear. You steady. Um, if I get rid of materia, does that... I can't add anything to that. Oh, set materia. So if I remove, say, cure, right? Because I've got potions. I put a deadly dodge. Also, what do the stars mean? Oh! Increases the potency? Actually, let's see what that looked like, like, looked like again. Cool. Let's, let's just try this out. Now we got a cool... A Cool purpley gem. Pair of power wrist guards. Interior and equipment. I want to guess this goes here. Doesn't really change the way you look, I guess. We have powerful wrist guards now, guys. Fire, dog. Calling fire. Let's finish this. I hear a Are they going to drop down some more people? Uh -oh, uh -oh. Spells and abilities, fire. Need a light. Ever been played? Ever been what? Uh, 
but I, I haven't got my limit yet. Cross slash. Oh, that's insane. Spells and abilities, uh, items. Let's go another. Do they just keep sending guys after me? So much for the direct route. Find another way. Use the rooftop. Climb the roof, okay. Okay. But the rooftops look clear. Oh, hello. Two grenades. Did we get everything in this area? I want to make sure. Just looking around to make sure we got everything that can be picked up here. Something down here. Just these. Another potion. Over there. Whoa. Open fire. Shoot to kill. Close call. Close call, indeed. Oh. Be advised. Target approaching residential area. Oh. I thought I saw something. This is so cool. An iron bagel. An iron bagel, guys. We got a bagel. The joke is, guys, it's a joke. It's a joke. We got a bronze one. The iron one should be better, right? 16, yeah, it is. Oh, and it has. Ooh! We can put our, our healing. Nice. Oh, we're making great progress. I'm loving it. Alright, where are these guys? Oh. Can I hit him with a fire? Time to burn. Not bad. That'll do it. <laughs> that that will do it. I like that we're, we have this flower on us. 
I don't know, it reminds me of something, and I can't, I don't remember what it is. I was hoping that there was like some stuff over here, but apparently not. <laughs> Abilities, let's do a spell, let's do fire on that guy. Oh, he missed. I missed. I guess. Shouldn't have turned your back. Anything up here? Out how to counter. You can't win. What if? Is that grenade not gonna do any damage or almost? Yikes. Fire works really well on those guys. Really well. Let's 
to fire on the trooper. Oh, shoot. Now, do your spells and stuff, I wonder if they, um, if they upgrade manually or automatically or if they do it manually or if I have to use them in order for them to upgrade. What do you do with the Moogle medals? That's what I want to know. We've got a few of them. We've got a few of them and I would like to know what to do with them. Uh oh. End of the life, Punk. I'm gonna enjoy this. Where's Barrett when you need him? The riot trooper. The huntsman. Fire on spin. Time to burn. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> Lee badass. That was incredible. Well, joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier, goddamn one man army. <laughs> You think he's a keeper?
What the hell have you been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround? That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> nope. <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic induced hallucination. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. Early in this before we head out. It doesn't look like it. Explosion at Marco Reactor One. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Nothing happened down below. Maybe the freight cars not so bad. I just wanted to be Wow, I'm just some of these people riding in the freight. So cool. You're uh, Just holding up pretty well, right? huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. You see, my daughter wow. now lives in Sector 8. My hands so... are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. <laughs> or maybe not. Have they caught the Did Pence? Uh, uh, he wanted to call him Pence because he reminds me so much of Pence. Did <laughs> Wedge have something to say? It doesn't look like hey, it. Everyone. Of course they are. Hey, clown. I am. Um... If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Yeesh. You don't make it easy. Stop that right now. Oh, I want to just pass out. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Little help, Cloud, please. I'm I can't sure stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that happen. big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. I'll own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? Uh, they've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. Sure. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Mm. 
<laughs> fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? <laughs> Shit, my middle manager. We should go. Right. <laughs> Look at those glowy gems. The detail in this game is insane. All right, yeah. All right, let's get this. Come on. You hear that suit? Sin retrieved my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Sin retrieved my ass. Oh, there's Jesse again. <laughs> let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Huh. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> That's what's always worked for me. Has it? It's all well and good if you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Location, 7th Heaven, a bar located in Sector 7 slums. A favorite after work hangout for laborers. Tifa's cocktails and cooking are big hits among the locals after hours, though the place functions as a hideout for the anti-Shinra group Avalanche. Oh. Home sweet slum. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, right. <laughs> ah. hm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven, you know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting; she'll worry. Oh boy! Oh boy! 
<laughs> a good place to end it, you guys. A good place. That was a fun... Uh, hold on. I am saving, right? Yeah. Uh, cool. So, like, chapters are taking about an hour. Um, I think a, f a couple people said that they, they could go a little bit longer, which is fine. Um, but we're going to end it there. Uh, Home Sweet Slum Chapter 3 is where we'll pick up on uh, the next episode. Uh, but guys, that was fun. I, this game is amazing uh, so far, at least. Uh, two chapters in. Graphics are incredible. Uh, the level of detail is incredible. We, we leveled up some... We got... You know, we leveled up. Uh, we got some uh, materia... Uh, so we're working on some abilities now. Um, I'm just starting to get the hang of some of the, the, the combat really. Uh, but that was cool. That whole escape was amazing. I, I'm really liking this. <laughs> I really am. Uh, and I'm excited to see what chapter three is about and kind of reuniting with Tifa, I guess. Because we saw that little glimpse of Tifa, uh, Tifa when he was like a child, uh, in episode one. Or in chapter one. Uh, so now she's all grown up. So that's going to be cool, I guess, to see kind of like what their interactions are. Uh, the only thing I know about really of Tifa was that she was looking for Cloud in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. So this is kind of a neat... I, I know the names, but getting to know the characters is like the coolest thing. Uh, but guys, let me know down below what you thought of the episode. Uh, if you did happen to like it, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button. You know, all the other YouTube buttons as well. The subscribe button, bell icon, all that all that good stuff. Uh, we do premiere these videos uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 2 p.m. EST right here on my YouTube channel. And do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrMilesTV. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings. Uh, currently right now, we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. The VODs are up. Um, if you're interested in watching that playthrough as well. Uh, and all my socials, a lot of stuff is down below in the description in, in, in the, the, the video. Uh, but guys, that's it. Go forth for the rest of your day. Make it a good one. And I will see you in episode three. All right, guys, take care. Uh, bye bye. Uh, bye bye.